Hello, people. So, uh, I'm shy. No, you're definitely not shy. Um, Jay and Kid back with another video. Mm -hmm. We are actually going to um, make a one minute cookie video, microwave cookie video that we saw um, on YouTube. So we wanted to give it a try. So we're gonna be experimenting. Um, we kind of have everything set out on the table that we need. So the recipe calls for one and a half tablespoons of sh uh, butter, uh, one and one third fourth of sugar, um, three fourths of milk, tablespoon of milk, uh, one third cup and a half a tablespoon of all purpose flour, one eighth <laughs> tablespoon of baking powder, a pinch of salt, and obviously chocolate chips. So I need to use gluten-free flour, so we use the Divided Sunset. Um, we have the almond silk milk, which is vanilla. We have um, a huge container of the brown sugar right here. And then we have some pure baking soda, a scale, and then all of the items, pinch of salt, and then inside of here, there's some vegan butter. Now the recipe itself, oh, and here are the chocolate chips. It's a mixture of minis and um, kind of like the larger morsels as well. So we're gonna just mix them in there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. One and one half tablespoon of butter. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? Oh, okay, yeah. So that's in there already. Mm -hmm. um, Second thing is one. You are you using the scale for the sugar? No, you can just. Uh, one and three fourths tablespoon sugar. One. Uh, we are not professionals, by the way. Oh. <laughs> You don't have three fourths tablespoon. Um, three fourths tablespoon of milk. Three fourths tablespoon. One third cup and a half a tablespoon of all-purpose flour. So the first recipe we're gonna try using my gluten-free one, and then if that doesn't work, we have the, some regular flour over there, but we're gonna try this one first. So that's the one third. One third. And then you need a half a tablespoon. Half a tablespoon? Yeah, of flour. Um, now you need one eighth tablespoon of baking powder. You can tell that math is, um, already eluded us. So we're just trying to figure this little part out. I would say comment below. <laughs> but by the time you do, um, this video would have already been done. So, yeah. And we are going to Old Reliable, which is Google. We tried to ask Google, but Google acting like they don't know. So we discovered that it's the equivalent of one pinch. So that's a, <laughs> that really was a very small pinch. After the baking soda is a pinch of salt. A pinch of salt. And we have some salt here, that's a pinch. And then chocolate chips, as many as you like. Try to use the, the bigger ones. We don't, we don't have to fold first and then? Um, I guess. Can you fold? That's right there. So we're folding. I'm just trying to get it a little bit wetter. However, this is really not the texture of the video. I think you need a lot more. Because it's a gluten free flour, also, that this is what happens. 
Thank you for that slide. I have big ones and mini ones mixed together. Some recipes call for one or the other. But, um, it calls for as many as you like. So, you know, this is just one cookie. You don't need a whole bunch. <laughs> the people. It feels very weird. Does it? It does. Does it not feel like a real cookie? I need the it napkins. Feels, you think it feels... Boy, give me the napkins. You think it's um, a vegan cookie? Well, it is a vegan cookie. Does it feel like a vegan cookie? What does a vegan cookie feel like? I hope it feels like, like that. We're gonna walk it over to the microwave because after all, this is a microwave video. So we're putting it in. The video calls for one minute. So we'll have it going for one minute. Now it does say if it needs more time to give it 15 extra seconds. So. A few moments later. All right. And silent host today. Huh. Definitely hot. Um, Take it out. Let it rest. You don't think we should do 15 more? No? No. Okay. She said don't over me. Next. Ouch. Alright, so it's here and we're going to wait about five minutes to get into it. Five minutes later. So, turns out. I don't know what we did wrong, but this looks more like a chocolate biscuit. Um, if you can kind of see the pole is like very thick. So um, we are in the process of making it over. But this time we're just using regular all-purpose flour. But here we are with the next attempt. Um, and we have it on a napkin because that's what the recipe is. So it's a little darker. So, and we, this is the one with all purpose flour. So we're putting it back in the microwave for one minute. A few moments later. Just let it sit. Yeah, I think we should just let it sit and let it harden. This one looks better. But I bet you this one's gonna taste better. I think this one did. Not a look so good. This one taste better. This one? Yeah, go ahead and peel that apart. You can actually eat that. It tastes, it, it looks like it feels like a biscuit. Okay, Google, turn on kitchen light. There's no pull, babe, because it's literally like a biscuit. <laughs> Take one. Don't throw up. You don't throw up. <laughs> Oh, that's gross. I can't even get my teeth around that. That was really nasty. Jay immediately threw his out. So, so we're gonna wait the five minutes to see what this cookie turns into. <laughs> um, it feels a little crumbly, but we're gonna wait to see. He's probably mad at the at the video now because he really wanted the cookie. No, I ain't mad. I just I <laughs> up out there like, like, oh yeah, this is good. That was horrible. We who has an eight teaspoon measuring stick? Well, I think well, not a measuring stick. Well, a measuring uh, scoop. I don't know, babe. I mean, I guess you can put it in the little measuring cup if you got the little circle. I mean, I guess that would make sense, but still. No, I, I take that back. That's cut. You don't have teaspoons. Like, I don't, we don't have that. I don't even know if there is a one eighth teaspoon because it's just a pinch. If you look at it, this recipe is called for people who are at home and is craving for something sweet right there, right? Mm-hmm. Something simple, they ain't got to do a whole bunch of whatever. Mm -hmm. Just have the ingredients. Mm -hmm. This is not simple. This is science. This is 20 grams of butter, 
Okay. We don't know to what 20 grams of butter. Well, we have a skill. Everybody don't have a skill. Now, I give you one thing that um, on the side, if you get the butter. That yeah, on out, the stick, yeah. That, that would help you out. The um, measurements on the stick, which we don't have. We have table, a tub of butter. All right. And then we do have the, the measuring, uh, t- uh, the tablespoons and the teaspoons. We do have that. In all fairness, we haven't tried the second cookie, which was exactly what she said. The first recipe could have been off because we did try a different flour than what she suggested. And you can't really compare gluten-free to non. Sometimes that does change. It don't even look like the picture. It doesn't. It don't even look like a video. But, let's try it. I'm gonna send a video. I'm gonna send a video of complaining. And all Just of break the cookie. It's a little stuck to the thing as well. So I don't know how she overcame that part because she pulled it immediately up. Okay. Wow, this is. Maybe it wasn't ready to eat yet. It tastes really good. Um, it tastes like a cookie to me. It tastes like a, it tastes exactly what's what's purpose. I think we should have um put it on the write a letter. No, you what? Mm-hmm. I think we should put it on a plate. I think the second one came out fine. Yes. It definitely wasn't um. It didn't look like a regular cookie, but it did taste like a cookie. I think we probably should have let it sit a little longer to get harder. But, I mean, for what it was, a microwavable one minute cookie, like you said, for something you just want to eat in that one moment, I think it was it was good. Did it look anything like the recipe? No. I money, <laughs> just, you might as well just you bake go, you a regular cookie. <laughs> clearly jay feels a certain type of way about it thank you guys for tuning in for this quick little video it's been a pleasure uh we try to just pop on whenever we're in the home just experimenting especially on this lovely saturday so hopefully you enjoyed it um we will be trying again <laughs>